Welcome friends, who is the real king of jungle? There are many such animals on this planet who deserve to be king of the jungle. Such as tiger, jaguar, grizzly bear, elephant and the lion. The elephant is the most powerful animal in the jungle with which no animal dare to fight. The another strong candidates among them is the tiger, which rules the jungles of Asia. And the special thing is that tiger, bear and elephant, all these animals are much more stronger than lion. The biggest animal in the jungle is the elephant. The tallest is the giraffe, the smartest is the fox, the fastest is the cheetah, and the strongest wildcat is the tiger. It is the second biggest feline after the tiger, but yet when we see a lion, we immediately think of them as the king of the jungle. But why and how did they earn the name when they don't actually live in the jungle? Then the saying, the lion is the king of the jungle, which we have been hearing for thousands of years, is wrong. Then who is the real king, a tiger or a lion? So friends, now I will try to reveal all the truth about who is the real king of jungle and why. Number 8 Lions live in different habitats but they prefer grassland, savanna, dense scrub and open woodland. The term jungle originates from the Hindu word of jungli which means any wild and uninhabited place such as savanna, grassland or desert and not necessarily a dense forest. So when they named lions as king of the jungle, they actually mean to say king of the wild, no matter the habitat. However, certain subspecies of lions inhabit forest of Congo in West Central Africa. Number 7 The lions are the only cats to live in groups that may comprise anywhere from 2 to 40 lions including up to 3 or 4 males, a dozen females and their cubs. The lionesses are the primary hunters, they act in groups and strategize to capture larger prey. On the other hand, lions serve as bodyguards by patrolling the territory and protecting the pride. He is just like the sun, like all the planets of the universe revolve around the sun. In the same way, lion is considered the king because it controls the land it lives on and all the other animals that live on it. All the animals of the jungle and the member of the pride show love, respect and true reverence for him. On the other hand, the tiger prefers to be alone and he never forms a group. Number 6 A male lion is always ready to fight. It seems that he is just built for war. To be an ideal king, he must have the power to fight under any circumstances. In comparison, the tiger usually tries to avoid a fight. Number 5 Given the strength of number, a pride of lions can take down animals that are much larger than themselves, such as elephants, giraffe, hippo, etc. But on the other hand, it is not possible for a solitary tiger to take down a large prey like an elephant. Number 4 
The another most important quality of an ideal king is his leadership ability. By definition, a king is a person who rules over a land and the people who live in it. That is exactly what lions do. I don't want to argue but remember one thing. Something called a king is identical to the leader of a group. No matter how strong you are, if you can't be the leader of a group, you don't deserve to be called king. In contrast, the tiger is virtually a recluse, lives alone and no leadership ability. Number 3. The most important thing that makes a lion the king of the jungle is his attitude. His attitude of never giving up. No matter how many difficulties or bad situation may arise, a great king never runs away from the battlefield. In the same way, a lion doesn't run away from the battlefield and keeps fighting till his death. Number 2. Another most important factor why other animals get intimidated by an adult lion is their powerful roar. <coughs> Friends, did you know that a lion's roar can be heard 5 miles away? The lion has the loudest roar of all the big cats. The deep-throated and very loud sound signals their presence to all intruders from miles away. And number one. Finally, the most important thing that makes a lion a king is his majestic looks. The male lion looks more majestic and intimidating since it has a mane around its neck which looks like a crown and it appears to be fearsome, bigger in size, frightening and give them a royal look. So lions are not the strongest nor the biggest in jungle, but what makes them the king? Because they have the attitude, courage and leadership abilities to take on every other animals no matter what the size or strength. Some people claim that tigers are the true king of the jungle because he lives in the jungle also he is the top predator of the jungle. Yes friends, I agree that tigers are the apex predator in their respective habitats. But it doesn't mean that if an animal is the top predator or the most powerful, then it will become the king of the jungle. If that were the case, then the jaguar, grizzly bear and dingo would all be considered the king of the jungle, because they all live in the jungle and they are all top predator in their respective habitats. It is not that easy to become the king of a jungle. To become the king of the beast or jungle, there should be many other qualities besides strength. Lion is king because of his attitude, it always tries to lead a pride of lions and fights to protect them and be a king. Tiger is more powerful than lion but always alone and taking no responsibility to protect its family. Lions are considered the king of the jungle for thousands of years as they are brave, majestic, strong, great fighter, fearsome and rule over all other animals. So in the end, I will say the lion truly deserves the title King of Jungle or King of Beast. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share.